everyone. Good morning, YouTube. This is Nesco Adini Sao Gariblet again. So, ang lamig kasi ngayon, kaya nakaraan po po. So, uh, I'm very excited sa uh, aking piyansi sa kanyang unboxing para sa aking e-bike. So, tara na! Ano po ang inaantay niyo? Good morning, good evening, YouTube. This is Dane of Danes Oligario Vlog. And yes, I am trying to learn to use my phone when it's horizontal and failing. But this failing. Look at that. Juice bikes. Woohoo! I am so happy. I will be doing a full unboxing video shortly. And this is this is like the perfect e-bike. Is if ever is as advertised. Um, this is going to be a, the bike to have because it has all the things that I developed my e-bikes over the years to have. You know, like real mirrors, real lights, something that you can use as a vehicle, not a toy or you know this cheapo thing that you get run over by cars because they don't see you or whatever. <laughs> But anyhow, uh, I just got home from work. Thank God I was able to leave work about a half hour early so that I could be here. Because when I got home, hopefully somebody signed, but it looks like the box may have just got dropped off. So, <laughs> thank you FedEx. But I'm so... Yikes. If I had known it was sitting here... Oh my gosh. Anyway, I'm so happy to have it. And uh, don't forget... If you like our content, subscribe, hit the bell, share with your friends. Okay, that's it for now. Uh, more to come. Still figuring out how I can set this up so you can all see more than my messy room. <laughs> but you can see the e-bike I got from Juice. This is a bike that I believe should be the standard if Everything is as advertised as I've watched several reviews. It seems to be a legitimately good product. And uh, this is me unboxing. So here we go. As soon as I get the camera set up, and yes, I apologize here. My wife is, or my soon to be wife, my fiance is much better, a lot more. Um, experience with this sort of thing. So I think I found something that works. So first of all, I have to say props to Juice. This box is very well packaged. Um, it appears that FedEx unfortunately dropped it off without a signature. Um, I'll forgive them because it's here. It gets stolen. <laughs> but that, that really would not have made my day to have my e-bike stolen, but here is the, the, the Juice Bikes manual, and it's packed in this very dense foam, and uh, I'm very impressed by that. Let me just take a, a quick shot of that. This foam is very sturdy. And I'm sure that this can really protect the product while it's in shipping. I noticed that the box got pretty wet. That's probably when it was sitting in front of my garage door waiting for me to come home. I, I got the no news from uh, Juice after asking them again to get me an updated shipping that it was going to come out today. I, I, I can't understand why FedEx can't manage to do that to the customer that I have to to the vendor to get that information, which is weird. But hey, it got here in a reasonable time in, during the Christmas season when everybody's trying to ship a million things. So kudos to both FedEx and Juice for getting this bike here in a reasonable time. The only hiccup was 
you know that something weird about shipping, and I'm sure some of you watching have an answer to this question, but I, I know there has to be some kind of weird thing where a bike is shown a product, it's shown on the inventory of a vendor when it's in actuality still in transit. So then you get these false ghost uh, shipping information that while they're still waiting to even receive it sometimes at the shipper, the less scrupulous uh, sellers will say, oh yeah, here's your tracking number, it's on its way, it's going to be there whatever day. And then you come to find out that it hasn't even been received yet by the shipper like FedEx or whomever. Now I know that didn't happen this time because Juice uh, whoa. <laughs> I know that Juice gave me good information because when I asked them directly for their information from FedEx, I got the real deal each time. It was accurate. But when I tried to depend on FedEx using their app just to keep me updated, because I understand it's Christmas time, of course there's a million orders, of course things are going to be delayed. Just let me know when it's going to be there, right? Because <laughs> nobody wants their, their new e-bike stolen because they couldn't be there. Oh my goodness, this is looking really good. I might be able to pull off this side, and you can see the bike. It's about 90% from the looks of it. Uh, the tires are pull up. Uh, okay, I can see. Let me bring the camera over here. There is a um, a wheel on the back side here that I'm gonna go ahead and cut loose. Boy, that is just amazing. I am so impressed. This is everything so far. As advertised, these are very lightweight, yet solid mag wheels. Very obvious they're designed to be head and shoulders above what your average bicycle level of quality or durability. Because, I mean, it's not really fair because when you take a bicycle and put a motor on it, it's not really a vehicle. You're just taking a recreational device and fooling yourself if you think you're making a vehicle out of it just because you put a motor on it. Unless, of course, it's got, you know, purpose-built componentry like this. I mean, these guys, I, I gotta hand it to them. I, I, this is the first time I've ever bought a pre-made e-bike and gosh, I've been building bikes over 10 years. Since 2008, when I first built one for my father, to recover from his accident and uh, I got to give him credit again here too the tire is got just a little air in it so it's not you know you don't want to store a, a tire full of air it wears out the tubes and the tire so I got to give him kudos there all right and oh wow there's actual plywood here it's bolted down to sandwich this back rack to prevent it from being damaged very impressive I mean, this, this is just, wow. I've not seen many vehicles shipped and I have to call this a vehicle. It's not just a bicycle. It's, it's more than that. Juice gets big kudos from me for building this. This is the Hyper Scorpion Express, which is sort of the, the e-bike delivery version of their very popular and capable Hyper Scorpion. And uh, here's some more foam. And we're gonna see here real soon if it stacks up to my expectations. And so far, I'm gonna say we've got a winner on our hands, assuming everything performs and you know, battery is in good shape. That is one thing I have to acknowledge I, in my research, if there's any complaints that people have about Juiced and the, the more recent 
deal. The, some people complain about the quality of the batteries. I'm going to reserve judgment. I'm very hard on e-bike equipment in the sense of I'm very critical because I need a vehicle. I don't want a bicycle with a motor and a battery stuck on it. I mean, that, that might work for some, but that doesn't work for me. I need a bike that can deliver food and get me where I need to go. And uh, I'm gonna make another video here, but say uh, suffice it to say so far, everything on this spectacular. It was packed with unbelievably good packing. I have never seen a bicycle or any other product shipped in such a way where they put, honest to goodness, plywood with bolts to protect it from getting damaged. And, you know, I'll update, of course, if when I re open the other side, if there's big scratches, I'll let you all know. But so far, my goodness, from stem to stern, this thing looks solid. They even put an actual gigantic bolt here to keep the forks solid. It's got the hydraulic discs. And this is going to be a very important thing. If they get this part wrong, then we're in trouble. But it looks very much like they secured this brake so that you couldn't inadvertently close the, the brake lever and cause the uh, disc brake to compress when there's nothing in the middle. So big kudos there. They have this one installed, so that's great. They have all this packing. They have the battery secured with some serious straps. And uh, the straps are padded so they don't scratch. This bike is gorgeous. So, okay, I'm gonna try to keep this in shorter uh, segments so that I can really give you guys an honest review. And I've opened up this box over here. And as you can see, there's pedals, some, you know, I don't know, business cards, probably, you know, postcards, whatever. But these mirrors, they came in another smaller box and they are in perfect shape. I've, I've seen a lot of reviewers talk about e-bikes in general that come scratched and boxes banged up really bad. So, so far so great. Uh, now, I, I have to take issue with this. I was really hoping when I was looking online that this was something of a legacy plug that they wouldn't be using anymore. Maybe I'm wrong, but that sure looks like a microphone three-prong plug, which was never meant to be out in the elements. Maybe they recommend you not charge in the, uh, the, the inclement weather or whatever. But uh, I have a garage. I might be storing this bike under, you know, a, a semi-outdoor environment like a shed kind of situation and it might not be the greatest and yeah this this makes me sad because this little cover here it is spring loaded it, it is going to seal somewhat but this is prone to rusting and intrusion of the uh moisture into things so i i have to say i'm i'm a bit disappointed with this choice and this charger if I remember correctly, it's supposed to be a 3 amp, okay, 2.5 amp uh, max, but it's uh, rated at 2 amp. That's okay. I can live with that. You know, I mean, they make an upgraded charger that's probably a lot better, but, you know, this is kind of the brick style. This this is not your high quality, like, uh, I'll show you what I generally use. Uh, LunaCycle makes an excellent battery charger. I have several of them. Um, this is just an example, excuse the mess. But here is a 48 volt charger that has the capability to do up to five amps. You have a little selector on the side. Then you notice this is a metal uh, box with a fan. And you know, this is just a very quality product. And it, I got this about four years ago. So, you know, I don't want to beat up on Juice too much because they got so much right, but 
I can't ignore that charger. It's just, it's cheap. You know, this kind of charger. Yes, it, it'll work. It may work for years and be fine, but it's, it's very, very cheap. It's very, you know, uh, it's just, it's, it's disappointing to get a high end e-bike such as this. This is not a price point bike. This is a bike that is, I would say, it, at least consider second tier, you know, first tier being like the low end stuff that it's just cheap as can be to, to, to make that the selling point. There, this bike should have a better charger set up, in my opinion. Um, and uh, that's that. Um, I'm going to put together the, the rest of the bike after this. Uh, if I see any major damage, I'll take a short video of that. But uh, for now, I think the easiest thing is just to get the front wheel on, get it on its stand, and then finish the rest of the assembly. And... It looks very much like uh, a bicycle, but honestly, it's it's more in a gray area between a moped and a bicycle, which is exactly what I want. Because a lot of people don't realize once you get into a true e-bike that has enough power to show you what an e-bike's capable of, you're not um, worried about weight as much. You actually benefit from having a little weight because then the wind's not pushing you around. It makes a much more solid ride, and this has got full suspension. Yes, maybe it's more entry-level suspension, that's fine. I'm not looking for top of the line, otherwise I'd expect to spend at least double. I mean, I got this for 2,800, plus I added the dual, uh, you know, the foot peg and rear seat, and anyway, um, Everything else is here. I'm going to set this up, charge the battery, and give it uh, a rundown after I assemble it. Uh, hopefully tonight, but maybe not. And, you know, this would be a perfect uh, way to test out the the headlight. The headlight's supposed to be very bright and useful for the evening. So I'm going to find out. Okay. Stay tuned. More soon to come. And so thank you for now Mwaka Friendship. I'm so very 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 excited to ride very soon this my uh, beautiful and uh, very amazing Christmas gift for me from my uh, fiance uh, Dane Anderson. Thank you so much guys and stay tuned and see you in my next vlog. Thank you. Bye bye.